hello we are looking very like holiday glam but like a softer holiday glam but still glam enough to where you can call it glam <laughs> but if you look closely if you are an observant human being you'll notice that there is something kind of missing from this look like it is not entirely complete we're not done here we have some unfinished business. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your friend Sophia Kelly here with you today. If this is the first time ever in your entire life that you are seeing me here on YouTube, thank you so much for joining. Sit back, relax, enjoy what you are about to see. So this is just a tad bit late and we are kind of delayed here due to some shipping reasons and things out of my control but lo and behold it has arrived a few of you may have been wondering and some of you have been inquiring about the reds and berries lip collection by juvia's place and that is exactly what we are diving into today i will be doing an overview of the entire collection showing you guys everything that you need to know about it i'm very excited to be doing this one because i love doing lip swatches that's kind of like my thing like i think it's okay to say like lip swatch queen i wear that crown i did do an overview video of their first lip collection drop ever it is on my channel if you guys want to check that out you can go ahead and do so but we're talking about the reds and the berries i am so excited to get these on the lips so this collection just like our previous collection is divided up into some categories we have nine lipsticks and the three different categories are the red cherry the red wine and we have the berries so within our first color category which is the red cherry the first shade that we have is perfect red and that is going to be a blue red shade then we have so red this is going to be your rich cherry red shade last but not least we have a freak which is blood red I'll be swatching the red cherry category first and I like to swatch in order of like lightest to darkest that's just the way I do things so I'm not gonna use a lip liner this entire lip collection did come with like glosses and lip liner but I'm not going to mix things up just yet starting with the lighter shade first I'm taking so red Wow. Um, first and foremost, we are getting a punch of color. It's very creamy. Just like their previous lipstick, I do enjoy the shape of the lipstick. It makes it easy to apply the product. This is a bright red. Like, she... <laughs> she is not here to play any games. So red. Here she is. Now, this is not a shade that I would wear without a lip liner because it is just really, really... Right, I need just like a little bit of a blend because I naturally have like darker lip line like I have a natural Lip line already and this is just a little bit too bright nonetheless very gorgeous very beautiful and it is bold So now I'm gonna take the shade a freak and I believe that this is like the middle shade It is not the darkest. It is not the lightest Still getting that color payoff super pigmented so here we have a freak and i think a freak is gorgeous less orange a touch bit more blue and um i would actually wear this without a lip liner to be honest like this i can i can finesse this i could rock this and she's good to go i'm really excited to try this perfect red shade because i really do believe that this is a more blue red and i like this so i think i'm gonna like this one the most out of the cherry red category Come on, yes. This is stunning. I love how defined of a line that I can get and it's all because of the, the shape. So that was the red cherry category. It was bright, it was bold, and it was definitely beautiful. Now we're getting into the red wine category. So in this category we have rouge, which is a deep wine red. Next, we have Rude Girl, which is a dark red. And following that, we have Fierce, which is a burgundy red. The first shade I'm starting off with is Rouge. Again, I'm not using any lip liner to do this. We're just going 
the lipstick solo. So Rouge is giving me red with like blue undertones and a little bit deeper than the perfect red. So I'm loving where Rouge is right now. Rouge is a beautiful red shade. It has got blue undertones. It's a little bit deeper than the perfect red. And I don't need to wear a lip liner with the shade. I absolutely love this shade. And of course, the formula is just as the previous shades. It's very creamy but also matte. So we're working with that velvet matte type of situation. Rouge was such a gorgeous shade. Now we're going to take Rude Girl and get this on the lips. I feel like the deeper we get into this, the more I'm liking the shades. Rude Girl is really giving me a nice glass of wine, but on the lips. Like, we are looking expensive and red. I'm really, 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 really liking this shade. This is definitely, again, a shade that I do not need to wear a lip liner with. I don't feel like I gotta wear a lip liner with this shade. You know, like this... It's doing all good on its own, and I'm here for it. I love what this is doing. I can't get over how creamy this formula is. Like, my lips are not feeling dry whatsoever, so... Okay. I will say that your lips will be stained by any reds or berry shade lipstick you're wearing. It's definitely going to be stained. This is what we're working with so far. But last but not least, in the red wine category, I will be taking the shade Fierce and hope, hoping that it's fierce. We are going to swatch this. So here we have Fierce, and Fierce is just like a little bit deeper than Rude Girl, which I do not mind. I kind of actually, I really do like this color. I love the way all of these lipsticks are feeling on the lips, but Fierce is here. Mm-hmm. She's not playing any games with you. Right, so we have done the red cherry category. We've done the red wine category, and now it's time to get into the berry section of this collection. So the first shade that we have here is Drama Queen, and Drama Queen is a rich berry shade, as you can see. Then we have Oh Damn, which is a rich burgundy shade. And last but not least, we have Frenemy, and that is a blackened berry shade. I'm really excited to get this side of things onto the lips because the deeper you get, it kind of gets a little bit trickier to keep the lipstick opaque and not streaky. So the first shade I'm taking is Drama Queen. I probably should have started out with the lip glosses and things, but you know, better luck next time, right? So here is Drama Queen. Ooh. So here we have Drama Queen, and Drama Queen is living up to its description of being a rich berry shade. Like this is a beautiful shade. It is not too deep, it is not too light. It, it is definitely the perfect description of berry. Um, I will say this is a cute shade. Personally, it's not my favorite shade. Like looking at the shade on me, I'm sure it looks like good and I can wear it of course, but like personally, I'm not really like a huge fan of the shade, but it is a cute shade. And it is definitely a shade that is probably growing on me as we speak because the more I'm wearing, I'm like, mm, it's looking cute. Now we're going with Oh Damn, and we're gonna get this on the lips. It looks a bit deeper. Things might start getting a little tricky. So here's the shade Oh Damn, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not feeling super like excited about this shade. I feel like it looks good, right? But like I personally, I'm not like, oh my god, I can't wait to wear this out. I can't wait to like, this is the kind of makeup I'm gonna wear with this lipstick. This is the outfit. I'm gonna wear with this lipstick. Like, that is not what I'm getting from this. I typically stay away from shades that are the same depth as my skin tone because I feel like it's not doing anything really for me. So now it is time for what I believe is the deepest color in this collection, and it is Frenemy. I, I love really deep shades, but sometimes they get a little streaky and patchy, so. Fingers crossed that this is not gonna do this. Fingers crossed. Wow. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Frenemy. Frenemy. You acting right. You came correct. The shade is stunning. It is beautiful. 
formula, everything is there, quality is there. Now, it is not streaky or patchy. Usually, with a shade this deep, as you run the product across, it starts getting streaky, it picks up a little bit, and it's just not looking full and as opaque as it should be looking. And this is just looking so beautiful on the lips. I'm actually really happy. <laughs> Excuse me, because I'm feeling some type of way about this shade. Uh, I think it's safe to say that Frenemy is definitely my favorite one in the berry category. Like, hi, how you doing? <laughs> hey there, me with my stained lips, but I'm actually not really mad at the stain that we have going on here. Anywho, we have swatched all of the lipsticks. Now, we have glosses up in this collection, and they're broken up into two separate categories. We have the glass glosses, and then we have the lip reflect gloss. So in the glass gloss section, we have two shades. We have Sweet Beats, and this is a berry glass gloss. And then we have Ruby Rose, and this is gonna be a soft red glass gloss. So I'm taking Sweet Beats here, and Love how big the applicator is. Love, love, love. I can already tell this is gonna be sheer. This is cute, actually. So some of this color payoff is happening due to the fact that my lips are stained, but I do believe that it wouldn't be that much different. So I'm really loving this shade. I feel like this is the perfect amount of color payoff. Just do keep in mind that my lips are slightly stained, so you might be receiving like a touch less of a color payoff, but nonetheless, I don't think it would be that much off from this. This is stunning. The formula is just like their other glosses. It is not sticky, but it is a thicker consistency um, than just typical regular glosses that I've tried on the market. Now I'm getting into Ruby Rose, and this is going to be on that obviously red side of things. I tried to wipe off as much as I could without taking my lips off, and this is where we are. So, Okay, so you can definitely see a color payoff, and it is a different hue, it is in that red hue. So here is Ruby Rose. I have to say that I do like these tinted glosses. I like the slight color payoff that you are getting from them. So it's like, so it's not like a plain transparent gloss. You are getting some color. You can wear this by itself, absolutely. I would totally recommend and suggest that. But you can also wear this with a lip liner if you wanted just a little bit more definition, if you want just more color. But all in all, I'm I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the glass gloss. So next in our lip gloss portion of the collection, we do have the Lip Reflect Gloss. We have four shades in this category. First shade is Cherry Love, which is a rich, bright red gloss. Then we have Culture, a rich, blue-toned red gloss. Following that, we have Maroon, and this is gonna be a maroon gloss. And last but not least, we have She's Royal, which is a cool toned berry gloss. I have to say out of these, I'm really excited for Maroon because when I saw, watched this bad boy on the back of my hand, you guys, it has like this beautiful like pearlescent reflex to it. I'm just excited. Uh, again, I'm not going to do a lip liner here because I'm trying to show you guys what this product can do by itself, okay? I want you to see like the true color of the product, so... Here is Cherry Love. I will say, these don't feel as thick as the glass glosses. So here we have Cherry Love. Now, I have a very pigmented bottom lip and my top lip is brown. Bottom lip is like a bright pink. So oftentimes when a color is not opaque enough, it does look like I ombre my lips. So I'm wearing two completely different shades. That is not the case here. It's just the coloration of my lips. But I have to say, I love this color. You definitely do not need a lip liner with this. I am comfortable with this. It is not as thick as the glass gloss, which I, I enjoy. It is a little thinner, but not too thin. And it is a beautiful color. Love it. Up next, we have Cultured. Now, Cultured is a bit deeper, and I'm excited to see. Ooh. This is such a beautiful shade. Wow. Have to say, I thought it was going to look the same, but you can actually see that it is deeper. It is like richer. 
Now the consistency is the same, just as the previous Lip Reflect Gloss. That can be a tongue twister. Um, it is the same as that one, but I love how deep and rich it is. It is so beautiful. I honestly feel like red is just one of those shades that just makes your lips look fuller and just it's a sexy color like red is a sexy red is fine okay red is just like that color I am so excited because this is the shade I am most excited for and this is maroon when I tell you this shade better be it this better be it because when I swatched this it was just nothing but stunning like it's just a metallic Maroon shade. How? I'm st who, genius. I don't think I've ever seen this before. This color. So I'm excited. Sis, this is. Can we? It's like I'm painting. Like it's like a lip lacquer because it is so opaque. You cannot see the pink shining through underneath. You can't see the pigmentation of my bottom lip and it is really pink as you guys saw beforehand. So it's really impressive to see a lip gloss that is this opaque. It is beautiful. The formulation is just like the ones before. It is nice. I'm really loving that metallic effect that we are getting from it because it is bouncing and playing with the light very nicely if I do say so myself. So yes, good job Juvia's Place because I am loving Maroon. I think this might be the most impressive lip gloss in this category last but not least we have she's royal and um she's royal is looking last but not least we have she's royal i'm also kind of excited for she's royal too because she's not as deep as maroon and she looks cute so I am liking the shade she's royal i really do like the amount of color payoff that you're able to get with just these glosses, you don't need a lip liner and you don't need to use like a lipstick underneath to kind of get that color payoff and pigmentation that you need. Like this is a perfect colored pigmented gloss. Like, hello, what? We have done the lipsticks, we've done the lip glosses. Now there are two cute little surprises. We have two mini liquid lipsticks in this collection and the first shade is Scarlet. And the second shade is red velvet. So why don't we get these on the lips? I'm not gonna do a lip liner, that is correct. I mean, when you're working with a liquid lipstick, it's thick enough, or it should be, thick enough and opaque, like you don't need, you don't need a lip liner. Let's see what red velvet is all about. Hmm. The consistency is thinner than I was expecting. I didn't think I was gonna like this shade to be honest. Red Velvet was just a little bit brighter than Scarlet from just like what I could see inside of the packaging. Now, it is thinner than your typical liquid lipstick, but just because it's thin does not mean it's not opaque. It is just like a teensy, teensy bit sheer because I can see um, a few of the freckles that I have on my lips through the liquid lipstick, but I'm not crazy mad about this it does feel lightweight it doesn't feel like it's going to be like cracking and getting clumpy and crusty on the lips we don't we don't like a crusty liquid lipstick that's that <laughs> that's a no-go and it has dried down a bit now so you can really see what it's going to look like and i have to say i like the way it looks i like the way she looks she's here for the drama okay the next shade i'm taking is Scarlet and um, I feel like Scarlet honestly in the packaging they look pretty similar um, Scarlet might be a little deeper. It's not really my favorite like I kind of liked Red Velvet more and that is something I was not expecting I thought I was gonna like Scarlet more because Scarlet is you know deeper But because Scarlet is deeper. It is almost like a little bit muted and muddy amongst my complexion and I'm just like mm, I could live without it like Yeah but the consistency and formula on um, Scarlet is thicker than Red Velvet for sure. Like I can't see my lip freckle 
It's gone, it's concealed, it's hidden, not a zip, zilch, can't see it. Don't get me wrong, it's cute, like it's a pretty red, but I like red velvet more. <laughs> all right, you guys, so we have gone through all of the lipsticks, we've gone through all of the lip glosses, and we did the liquid lipsticks. So there is one thing left in this collection, those are the lip liners. We have two brand new shades. The first shade being wine and uh, very self-explanatory. It is looking like wine. And the second shade is ruby. Also self-explanatory because it is more in that red tone and um, ruby looking. And that, my friends, is the Reds and Berries collection by Juvia's Place. We have ran through everything. Let us talk about pricing really quick. So you can get the entire collection for $224, that is their regular price for the entire collection. Uh, do keep in mind that this $224 is before taxes and obviously before shipping as well. So when you're shopping, just remember that little detail. <laughs> so the Reds Velvety Matte Lipstick does retail for $10. And again, before shipping and tax. Um, the lip liners in this collection also retail for $10 a pop. So get them separately for $10 each and you are good to go. If you're interested in the glosses, you can get the Reds and Berries Gloss Bundle Set for about $60. And that is you got it before shipping and tax. If you're interested in breaking up that bundle, like you don't want all six of the lip glosses, then you can easily go ahead and purchase what you'd like out of it separately for $14 a pop and you're good to go. You can get exactly what you want. You don't have to get the whole thing. But if you wanted to get the whole thing, you could. You, you feel me? Like you could do it. Um, the same thing goes with the lipsticks. You can get the lipstick shade that you want. You don't have to commit to the entire set. And you can get these lipsticks individually for $14 a pop. I'm not sure if they sell like the lipsticks, like all nine lipsticks as a bundle. I didn't see it on their website. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay, but I didn't see it. So you can get them for $14 each. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. You have no idea how much fun it is for me to do lip swatches. Like I love, like wholeheartedly, genuinely, I love doing lip swatches. So this was nothing but a joy for me to put together for you guys today. If you liked this video, you found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to drop some comments down below. Which shade speaks to you? Like which shade is your shade? or shades, it could be multiple shades. <laughs> Let me know if you guys liked this collection. If you are watching and you are not yet subscribed, stop playing with my feelings. Go ahead, click that subscribe button. It is down below, it is not gonna bite you. And while you are there, be sure to click that bell button so you're notified. Every time I upload a new video, I promise I'll only give you the goods. I'm only here to give you the goods. I had a blast in today's video with you guys and I will see you beautiful and amazing people in the next video. <laughs> Bye, you guys.